Hello and welcome to Color with Candy. In today's video, I'm going to share four different tips to avoid pixelated and blurry edges in Procreate. Let's get started. For this video, I would love for you to follow along because I feel like that's the best way to learn. I've watched so many videos in the past that things didn't click until I followed along. My first tip is to avoid using a small canvas size and a low resolution. That will always result in pixelated edges. So I'm going to show you this side by side so you're going to be able to see the difference. So let's create a new canvas. I'm going to create a small canvas first and then a big one. So for the small canvas, I'm going to select inches and I'm going to make it three by three. No, not three, three, three by three inches and the DPI of 132. And I'm going to tap on create. Now I'm going to use the monoline brush in the calligraphy set in Procreate and I'm using a black color so you can follow along with me. This is a default brush. So right off the bat, I can tell that the edges are quite pixelated. They're not sharp. Now Procreate is a pixel based program. So if you zoom in far enough in any canvas, you will see pixels, but I can see pixels right here. So it's not a good look. Now I'm going to show you if I made another square canvas, but a larger size, what that would look like. So now I'm going to use inches again, and I'm going to make a 10 by 10 inch canvas, and I'm going to increase the DPI. So the DPI is the dots per inch, it's the resolution. And typically when you want print quality and you want to print your work, you want a higher resolution. Your work will definitely look a lot better. So I'm going to create this canvas, and I'm doing the same thing. I have the monoline brush, I have it at the largest breast size, and I have the same color. So there's two things you'll notice. First of all, the brush size looks different. In different canvas sizes, your brushes will look different at the maximum size. But as you can see, it doesn't look pixelated anymore. Even if I zoom in, it's not pixelated. I would have to zoom in a lot. Now I see the pixels, you will always see pixels if you zoom in a lot but it looks smooth. If you go back to the other one, it looks pretty pixelated. So when in doubt, always make sure that you are using the right canvas size. Just double check that your canvas is not too small and your resolution is high enough. My second tip is to avoid scaling up. Don't scale up an image because it will end up being more pixelated. So I'm going to show you this with an example. I'm going to use that 10 by 10 canvas that I made earlier. And I'm drawing again with a monoline brush and I have black selected and we're making something really simple, just a simple flower, nothing fancy. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you scale this up. So I'm going to make a copy of this first. So I'm going to go to the layers panel. I'm going to swipe to the left and tap on duplicate. And now I have a duplicate of it. And now I'm going to go to the brush cursor icon. This is your transform tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this bigger. I'm, I'm making this a lot bigger. It's like falling off the screen. This is just exaggerated so you can see what happens. So I've made this really, really big. And what happens when you make an image a lot bigger is it starts to get more pixelated edges. Now if I zoom in, this is still quite crisp. And this is really pixelated. So obviously this was an exaggerated example. I made this really big, but anytime you take an image and then you start to make it bigger, you are going to end up with some pixelation. So my suggestion is to avoid that. Scaling down is typically okay, but with scaling up, you're going to see more pixelation. Now I do have some advice. If you definitely can't get out of scaling something up, you have to do it. Then the best way to do this is, I'm gonna go back to the previous layer, I'm gonna delete this, is when you're scaling the item up, when you're in your transform tool, this option here, you'll see it says nearest. I'm on uniform. It will say nearest, tap on by cubic. I typically get a lot better results when I use bicubic interpolation. It's basically a way for Procreate to determine how to scale up the pixels. I find that bicubic works a lot better. We don't need to get into technical details, but if you are scaling something up, make sure bicubic is turned on. And now let's say I scale this up. 
it still looks pretty good. I mean, obviously if I scale it up a lot, it'll be pixelated, but it doesn't look as pixelated as it did earlier. So avoid scaling up if you can, but if you need to, definitely make sure bicubic interpolation is turned on. My third tip is to avoid moving and resizing objects too often. And this goes with any pixel-based program, even Photoshop. I find that if you move things enough in Photoshop, you will also see some pixelation, but in Procreate, it's way more pronounced. So I'm gonna show you this with an example. So this is our original flower. I'm gonna make a copy of it, duplicate. And then I am going to resize it a few times and I'll come back in a little bit. Okay, so I have moved this object a couple of times. Typically, we won't do this, but sometimes when you're working on an illustration and you move something around quite a bit, you might notice that it looks a little bit more pixelated. So now let's compare these two. So right off the bat, I can tell it's very clear that this one is quite sharp and this one has lost its sharpness. It's definitely a little blurry when you compare them. And this is because it's been moved and resized a couple of times. So I definitely avoid moving things too often. I don't resize things too often. And especially if you're making patterns in Procreate, I know a lot of people do that. It's definitely something to consider. I've made complex patterns and I've moved stuff around and resized it. And there were certain parts of my image that looked blurry and some that didn't. So I would suggest if you do need to move things around a lot, do it in Photoshop and use smart layers. Um, that is a totally other video, but that is my suggestion if you do need to move things around. My fourth and final tip for this video is to use sharper brushes. The brushes that you use definitely affect the quality of your image. So I want to show you this with an example. So the monoline brush is a decent brush. I actually like it and it's quite sharp. So I'm going to show you what the monoline brush looks compared to some other brushes in Procreate. So I'm going to remove this flower. Let's clear that. And let's make a line here with the monoline brush. I'm at the largest size. And then I'm going to show you the script brush that's also in the calligraphy set in Procreate. I'm going to do the same thing. And then I'm going to show you another brush. It's in inking, I think the syrup brush and technical pencil. I just want to show you as a comparison. They're all very different. Studio pencil or studio pen. And yeah, I think that's it. Now I'm going to zoom in and you'll really see the difference between all of these brushes. So these are all in Procreate, they're default brushes, but just by zooming in, you can see that this monoline brush is by far the sharpest brush. So if you are looking for sharper edges, less pixelation, definitely go with a better, higher quality brush. The monoline brush delivers better results. The syrup brush is a little bit jagged. Depends on the look you're going for. If you don't want that pixelated, jagged look, then go with the monoline brush. Now this was the technical pencil here. This is a little bit blurry. So the brushes definitely have an effect on your overall work. If you want your work to look crisper, just use a better quality brush. I hope this video was useful and you learned something new. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any topic suggestions for future videos, let me know as well. I will see you in the next video. Bye.